freeholders of the County of Arlington is hereby called to order. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, this is to announce that adequate notice of this meeting was provided in the following manner. On December 31st, 2015, advance written notice of this meeting was posted on the bulletin board in the foyer of the county office building. On December 31st, 2015, advance written notice of this meeting was advertised in the Burlington County Times. On December 31st, 2015, advance written notice of this meeting was filed with the county clerk. I direct the deputy clerk to enter into the minutes of this meeting with this public announcement and the advance written notice of this meeting. Please stand for the flag salute and remain standing for the invitation. Why? 
of Burlington County, New Jersey, the said board do determine that an election held in the said county on the third day of November in the year of our Lord, 2015, Kate Gibbs was duly elected Burlington County Freeholder. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this 12th day of November, A.D., 2015, Signed, Joseph Dugan, Chairman of the Board of County Canvassers, <coughs> attested by Timothy D. Tyler, County Clerk, State of New Jersey, County of Burlington. I, Timothy D. Tyler, Burlington County Clerk, do hereby certify that the foregoing is a true and correct statement of the Board of County Canvassers in relation to the said election. In testimony whereof, I have hereunto set my hand in official seal this 12th day of November, 2015, signed Timothy D. Tyler, County Clerk. <clears throat> the oath of office for freeholder Kate Gibbs will be administered by the Honorable State Senator Don Marie Adiego. <laughs> Thank you all for being here to share this exciting day. Thank you to my family and friends for your constant love and support throughout this process. Thank you to the hundreds of volunteers who knocked on doors, made phone calls, stuffed envelopes, and put out our signs because you believed in our message. Ryan and I would not be here today without your help. Thank you, Senator Adiego, for your valued guidance, and to my fellow freeholders for your advice, assistance, and warm welcome. Special thanks to our county chairman, Bill Lee. It's not every county chairman who would give a 29-year-old young woman with some new ideas the chance to make a difference. Finally, thank you to the voters of Burlington County for the trust you have all bestowed in us. This county has a lot to be proud of. For decades, sound leadership from Burlington County Republicans has kept our property taxes low while providing first-rate services to our residents. Still, Ryan and I ran for office because we believe strongly that the challenges before us today require new and innovative solutions. As young people familiar with the burdens of student loan debt, first-time home ownership, future financial planning, we will work to bring fresh voices to government with a unique understanding of the struggles facing our residents of all ages. That is why we ran, and, that is, and the voters have spoken. Now it's time to get to work. Our first priority is cutting property taxes in 2016. If Burlington County is going to continue to be a place for families to afford, businesses to grow, and seniors to retire, 
we must find innovative ways to lighten the tax burden for all residents. That means taking a hard look at all aspects of government to find new cost savings. This year, we will undertake a comprehensive audit of all current federal and state grants to develop a long-term plan for investing in programs that work and phasing out those that are redundant or unsustainable. At the same time, we will think outside the box and be open to modern means of funding key programs and services without raising taxes. That means finding new opportunities for shared services and pursuing public-private partnerships that can improve our existing programs while at the same time cutting costs. Our driving question must be, what can be done better? How can we better help families find jobs at a decent wage, a home they can afford, and a retirement that is dignified? Ultimately, asking this question of everything we do will allow us to provide even more for the residents of Burlington County. As freeholder, I look forward to working closely with our new Workforce Development Institute to expand those uh, programs looking for those looking for work, particularly when it comes to young women. The first class of 30 local women graduated from the county's new Women in Sustainable Employment program this past fall. Having completed a free 40-hour training course in non-traditional employment opportunities available in energy and construction industries, those who graduated are now prepared to meet the needs of our local employers and are well on their way to successful careers. A small but good start and a shining example that smart Effective government can improve lives. Look for more success stories in 2016. Again, thank you all for being here tonight. It is an honor to join this freeholder board, and I look forward to all that we can accomplish together. Ryan Peters. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will impartially and justly. That I will impartially and justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. Burlington County Freehold. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I, Ryan Peters, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and to the governments established in the United States and in this state. And in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, so help me God.
Good evening. Uh, thank you, Congressman MacArthur, Senator Diego, Sheriff Stanfield, Judge Haynes, and to all of you for coming out here tonight. Kate and I were incredibly grateful for everyone who made today possible. Chairman Layton and our dedicated campaign staff, to countless volunteers who took your time to knock on doors, to make phone calls, to invite Kate and I into your house, to introduce us to your neighbors, your friends, your family. I'd like to thank my family, in particular my wife Stacy, who managed our three children, Kaylee, Ben, and Kevin. Um, well, I, after work on evenings, knocked on doors, and during the weekends went to campaign events. But most importantly, I'd like to thank the voters of Burlington County. Because while tonight is a very exciting night, it's more about the job that the Burlington County voters sent us here to do. We ran on a promise to be different, to be innovative, with the idea that our youth and experience outside of government will be able to be used in government to make it more efficient and then make our tax dollars go further, be more efficient with government. With that in mind, we're going to look at all programs to make sure we're using modern technology, shared services when appropriate, and to always look for ways to generate revenue. We also made a promise to cut taxes, and rest assured that we will. Tonight also marks a continuation of service for me. While I will be more than just a lone veteran on the Freeholder Board, I will bear that distinction with honor and with the responsibilities that come with it. The responsibility is to protect the Joint Base and to make sure that all men and women who have worn our nation's uniform get the services and assistance that they've earned. We must also understand that as young men and women come back and leave active duty from fighting our nation's wars, that the face of veteran services is changing. And we must adapt to meet those challenges. We can and we will. I wanted to say, how, again, how honored I am to join this Freeholder Board. I look forward to what we'll accomplish this year. Thank you all for coming out, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you. Gargano. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will impartially. That I will impartially and justly. And justly perform all the duties. Perform all the duties of the office of freeholder director. Of the office of freeholder director. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I, Bruce D. Gargano. I, Bruce D. Gargano. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. 
and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and allegiance to the same and to the governments and to the governments established in the United States established in the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people so help me God so help me God congratulations
Hearing none, the nomination will be closed. Could I have a roll call? Freeholder Donnelly. Uh, Collins. Freeholder Gibbs. Collins. Freeholder O'Brien. Kendall Collins. Freeholder Peters. Collins. Director Gargano. Kendall Collins for a three-year term. <laughs> Selection of three assistant county solicitors to a one year term. All right, I would like to nominate Carl J. Uh, Carl B. Buck III, Jeffrey N. Raven, and Dina Rocco uh, as assistant county solicitors, uh, each for a one year term. Do we have any other? Hearing no, we'll close the nominations. Roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Names as read. Freeholder Gibbs. As read. Freeholder O'Brien. Names as read. Freeholder Peters. Names as read. Director Gargano. Names as read. We'll move on to nominate an election of one fire coordinator with a one year term. Yes, Director, I'd like, to, I'd like to place in consideration the name of Pat Vegas for a one year term. Do we have any other? Hearing none, we'll close the nominations. Roll call, please vote by name. Freeholder Donnelly. Vegas. Freeholder Gibbs. Vegas. Freeholder O'Brien. Vegas. Freeholder Peters. Vegas. Director Gargano. Vegas. We'll move the nomination and election of six deputy fire coordinators to a one year term. Yes, Director. I'd like to place into consideration the names of Wiley C. Johnson Jr., Michael Prince, George Meredith, Tim Pearson, Craig Augustoni, and Craig Farnsworth. Any other? Hearing none, we'll close the nominations. Roll call by name. Freeholder Donnelly. Names as read. Freeholder Gibbs. Names as read. Freeholder O'Brien. Names as read. Freeholder Peters. Names as read. Director Gargano. Names as read. Now we'll move on to our nomination election of five <coughs> assistant fire coordinators. Yes, Director, I'd like to place into consideration the names Clarence Winger, Steve Schooley, Steve Perkins Sr., William Smith, and Edward DeLeo. Any other? Hearing none, we'll close the nominations. I have a roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Names as read. Freeholder Gibbs. Names as read. Freeholder O'Brien. Names as read. Freeholder <coughs> Peters. Names as read. Director Gargano. Names as read. We'll move on the nomination and election of one EMS coordinator for one year term. Yes, Director, I'd like to place some consideration in the name of Matt Hempel. Any other? Hearing none, we will close the nominations. I have a roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Heppel. Freeholder Gibbs. Heppel. Freeholder O'Brien. Matt Heppel. Freeholder Peters. Heppel. Director Gar Gargano. Heppel. We'll move to our nomination and election of five deputy EMS coordinators for a one year term. Yes, Director, I'd like to place in consideration <coughs> names of Bruce Herbst, Steve Taylor, Dave Eppelberg, Ron Kieft, and George Jackson III. Any other? Nominations will close then, and I have a roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Names as read. Freeholder Gibbs. Names as read. Freeholder O'Brien. Names as read. Freeholder Peters. Names as read. Director Gargano. Names as read. And then we'll move on to nomination and election of nine members to the Emergency Service Advisory Board for a one year term. Yes, Director, I'd like to place some consideration the names of Craig Stoney, Anthony Burnett, J. Lee Daniker, William Smith, Ryan Hoffman, Philip Drangula, Jamie Wood, Robert Tobin, and George Jackson III. Any other? Close the nominations. Could I have a roll call? Freeholder Donnelly. Names as read. Freeholder Gibbs. As read. Freeholder O'Brien. Names as read. Freeholder Peters. Names as read. Director Gargano. Names as read. Look for a nomination election to the Bridge Commission <laughs> to your term. Yes, Director, I'd like to place into consideration the name John Comegno. Any other? Hearing none, we'll close the nominations. Could I roll call? Freeholder Donald. Comegno. Freeholder Gibbs. Comegno. Freeholder O'Brien. John Comegno. Freeholder Peters. Comegno. Director Gargano. Comegno. Now we move on to nominations and election of the Library Commission. This is a five year term. Uh, Mr. Director, I'd like to nominate Mark Sanders and Bud Evans, please. Any other? Hearing none, we'll close the nominations. Could I have a roll call? Freeholder Donnelly. Names as read. Freeholder Gibbs. As read. Freeholder O'Brien. Names as read. Freeholder Peters. Names as read. Director Gargano. Names as read. 
nomination and election to the College Board of Trustees for a four-year term. Yes, Mr. Director, I would like to allow Nikki Quinn. Any other? Any other? We'll close the nominations. Um, roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Quinn. Freeholder Gibbs. Quinn. Freeholder O'Brien. Nikki Quinn. Freeholder Peters. Quinn. Director Gargano. Quinn. Nominations and election to the RCBC search committee for one year term. Yes, Mr. Director, I would like to nominate Steve Solomon, Kevin Brown, Marilyn Williamson, Dr. Chris Mano, Brian Camp. Any other? Hearing none, we'll close the nominations. Can I have a roll call? Freeholder Donnelly. Names is red. Freeholder Gibbs. Names is red. Freeholder O'Brien. Names is red. Freeholder Peters. Names is red. Director Gargano. Names is red. Well, we do a nomination and election of three members. And it'll be the director and two freeholders to the board school of estimates for the Bronx County Institute of Technology. I'd like to nominate myself as director, freeholder Gibbs, and freeholder Nani. Are there any other? Hearing none, we'll close nominations. Roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Gargano, Gibbs, and Donnelly. Freeholder Gibbs. Gargano, Gibbs, Donnelly. Freeholder O'Brien. Gargano, Gibbs, and Donnelly. Freeholder Peters. Gargano, Gibbs, Donnelly. Director Gargano. Davis Red. We'll move on the nominations of three members, the director and two free elders to the Board of School Estimates for the Bronx County Special Service School for a one-year term. I'd like to nominate myself, Freeholder Gibbs, and Freeholder Donnelly. Any other? Hearing all opposed nominations, roll call. Freeholder Donnelly. Davis Red. Freeholder Gibbs. That's Red. Freeholder O'Brien. Names is Red. Freeholder Peters. Gargano Gibbs Donnelly. Director Gargano. That's Red. One well, more nomination selection of three members, the director, two freeholders, to the Board of School Estimates for the Corona County College for one year. It would be myself, freeholder Gibbs, and freeholder Donnelly. Any other? Hearing none, nominations are closed. Can I have a roll call? Freeholder Donnelly. Names is Red. Freeholder Gibbs. That's Red. Freeholder O'Brien. Names is Red. Freeholder Peters. Gargano, Gargano. Director Gargano. That's Red. At this point, we'll move on to my appointments this year. The um, administration and health will go to myself. Public Works will go to Freeholder Gibbs. Natural Resources, Education, Economic Development will go to Freeholder Donnelly. Human Services and Elections will go to Freeholder O'Brien. Public Safety and Corrections will go to Freeholder Peters. Um, two members to the Board of Social Services will be myself and Freeholder Gibbs. Two board members to the Bronx County Planning Board will be myself and Freeholder Gibbs. One member alternate to the Bronx County Planning Board will be Freeholder O'Brien. Three board members to the Personnel Committee, which will be the Director and two Freeholders, would be Gargano, O'Brien, and Gibbs. Freeholder represented to the military basis would be Freeholder Donnelly. Freeholder liaison to, to the Burling County Bridge Commission would be Freeholder Donnelly. Appointment by the Director of the Board to the Bronx County Agricultural Development Board for 2016 will be Phil Prickett, John Hublick, John Peter Johnson, T. Todd Wilkinson, Robert Eckert, Paul Shin, Lawrence Couser, Louis DiLorenzo, John Logue, Timothy Lust, Judy Shaw, and Lisa Post. And at this point, I'm going to have, we have a special guest here tonight, which I would um, like to introduce, would be our congressman. If um, mind coming up. Here. Well, good evening, friends. Thank you, uh, director. And uh, tonight's a good night. It's, uh, it's good to see people taking the oath and stepping up into serving their community. And I would just pose this question for us to think about. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Well, a few hundred years ago, those who came before us had this crazy idea that you and I were capable of governing ourselves under God and in community with one another. And every time there's an election, 
And every time we reorganize our government peaceably, we reaffirm exactly that, that we're capable of taking our own affairs into our own hands and under God and together running our lives. And that's what tonight is about. Uh, Kate and Ryan have, uh, have taken the oath for the first time, and, uh, and everyone else has been reminded that uh, we're here to serve our community. And, uh, and that matters to us, and I'd like to be at these events for that very reason. The second reason it matters tonight is because we pledge to serve our communities. And that's what you heard tonight. The oath was under the authority of the people, so help me God. And that's exactly what the people that are in this room, at the state level, the county level, the local level, have pledged to do. At the federal level, we've all pledged to serve the people that elected us. And believe me, we have problems that need solving, don't we? Uh, this morning, I started my day uh, at the, uh, uh, with recruits for the Army and the Navy at the recruitment center. And these were folks that were just stepping into a military career. I then met with law enforcement to talk about the drug problem that is a scourge to, uh, to South Jersey. And I just left before I came here a father who had lost his son in Afghanistan, and his other son is there now. And I was just reminded how much there is for us to do. I work with the elected officials in this county, and we have a lot to be proud of. They're great people, they're devoted, they're smart, they're doing the right thing by all of us. And, uh, and I'm really honored to work with people at the state, local level, and our county freedom. So I, uh, I'm happy to be here with you tonight. I'm heading straight from here back to DC. to see if I can straighten out maybe a little bit there. <laughs> and, uh, and I look forward to, to this year to doing the things that matter, protecting our base, making sure we're the strongest nation in the world, making sure there's economic activity, pretty simple things, making sure that you and I can live our lives under God and together. Uh, without government interfering too much. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Congressman Garfield. We do appreciate you coming here. And, you know, it's always good to hear your, your words of wisdom. Thank you very much. At this point, we'll move on to the State of the County Address. Congressman Arthur, Judge Haynes, Senator Aliaco, Assembly Members Brown and Rodriguez Gregg, Assembly Elect Howard, Sheriff Stainfield, Clerk Tyler, Sarah Bikach, our County Chairman Bill Layton, my fellow county and local officials, special guests, family, and friends. Welcome and Happy New Year. Thank you all for being here. Thank you also to our staff for making tonight's event possible. It's, it takes a great deal of work behind the scenes to put this important ceremony together, and we appreciate it. Tonight we celebrate a new generation of Republican leadership here in Burlington County. With her oath tonight, Kate Gibbs has become the youngest female freeholder in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> Making this the youngest freeholder board in the state. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joe, even with you and me. <laughs> Congratulations, Kate. And for the first time in generations, this county, home to our great joint base, welcomes a veteran to the Freehold Report. Welcome, Ryan, and thank you for your service. I look forward to your Still, in many ways, tonight is as much about renewal as it is about change. This board is proud to have a record of fiscal responsibility that knows no evil. In the last seven years, county property taxes have been reduced by more than $20 million. At the same time, we cut county spending by over $40 million, spending less per resident than any other county in the state, even as we have expanded essential services and programming for our seniors, veterans, families, and the most vulnerable. Cutting taxes and Cutting taxes and lower spending has made Bronx County the most affordable county in the state of New Jersey. That being said, we are far from done. 
and will work every day to continue that trend. So whether you are starting a family or retiring, Burlington County is the place to be. We have taken an aggressive approach to workforce development. Understanding that the best way to make Burlington County affordable is to ensure that all of our residents have access to good paying jobs. With cooperation from local partners across government, education, and the private sector, we have established a new Workforce Development Institute which will transform the way communities best educate and train their workforce. Housed at the newly named Rowan College of Burlington County, this institute coordinates services for employers and job seekers alike. This allows us to better serve both groups as we move more effectively match their skills and training of potential employees with the needs of local business. In this way, we have truly created a new national model for workforce development, strengthening the pool of local employees and putting more of our residents to work in well-paying careers. In the year ahead, we will expand on this success, providing more of our residents with the education and career opportunities that they deserve. Still, transformative partnerships with private sector has not stopped at the classroom. Recently, we announced a new alliance with Virtual Hospital that has allowed us to launch a mobile app to help save lives in Burlington County. Using local aware technology, PulsePoint alerts CPR trained persons in a public place to someone nearby in sudden cardiac arrest who may require CPR. We are honored to be the first jurisdiction in our region to offer this life-saving technology. In the coming weeks, we will expand our partnership with Virtuit to offer free CPR training courses to all the residents of our county. Initiatives like these are clear examples of unique opportunities we have as freeholders have to have substantial impact on the lives of our residents. One initiative that was, has directly benefited both our residents and our environment is our recent transition to single stream recycling. The county's recycling program, the first and only of its kind in New Jersey, touches virtually every household serving over 420,000 residents from, our, from our 40 municipalities. We knew that utilizing new technologies to make effectively collect and recycle materials to provide a convenience to our residents, increase recycling, and most importantly, save millions of tax dollars. Yet we also knew that transitioning such a massive widespread program was not without significant obstacles. Major renovations we needed at the recycling center. Most households would need new carts and our residents would be required to change their customary recycling habits. Many at the other levels of governments would have chosen to stay with the familiar status quo, but not here in Burlington County. Ultimately, we trusted our government to work the way that we have designed it to work, effectively. In just over one month's time, blue recycling carts were hand-delivered to over 40,000 individual homes. When problems arose, our dedicated team worked around the clock to ensure that they were fixed, and they were fixed promptly. We partnered with municipal recycling coordinators in all of our township and launched an aggressive education effort to ensure that residents understood that the transition meant for everyday recycling habits. We are whole aging infrastructure pillar recycling center that utilizes advanced technology to process 60,000 tons per year, meeting the needs of, of county recyclers for decades to come. The system saved municipalities $3.4 million in avoided landfill disposal costs last year. In the year ahead, we will find new and creative ways to improve awareness of the program and increase recycling levels. Finally, the Bronx County Animal Shelter. Here, too, we have begun to do new technologies and outside-the-box approaches to improve the ways we do business. I am happy to announce that in 2016, we will begin a significant expansion project designed to modernize our aging facility and increase the number of adoptions. These changes can help to reduce overhead costs, better serve our residents, and make it easier for our animals to find good forever homes. These successes are examples of government at its finest, bringing people together and making use of newest technology to, to do more for our residents with fewer tax dollars. A better way to afford our homes, create jobs, save lives, recycle, and to help our local animals. If we are to continue to have success in 2016 in the future, we must continue to be different. That means doing even more with less. Working together, we will continue to find fresh and innovative answers to all the questions. We will forge new partnerships, 
which those throughout our communities and look to new technology to make us even more efficient. We must and we will lower the property tax burden for the Burlington County residents. To my fellow freeholders, I am honored to serve as your director and I look forward to a productive year. Finally, to all of you that are here today, thank you so much for your good wishes and your sincere interest in county government. I hope everyone agrees 2016 has all the makings of a great year. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, and God bless you all. At this point, I'll ask if any of our freeholders, freeholder peers, would you have anything you'd like to add to you? Nothing more, Director. Thank you. Freeholder O'Brien? Certainly. I would like to extend a huge congratulations to freeholder Gibbs and freeholder peers. Um, a huge welcome. Um, really look forward to coming here, working together with you uh, to help make Burlington County an even better place to live for all of our residents. Thank you. prosperity and well-being for all the people of Burlington County. God our Father, we ask you to accept the prayers and petitions of a grateful people. Amen. <laughs> 